Palmi Saha, who has Congress MP Manikam Tagore joining her right outside the parliament. Over to you, Palmi. What's the Congress's version on the debate that we see inside the House? What is joining us uh, live at the moment, uh, sir, we just spoke to Anurag Thakur. The government is insisting that Rahul Gandhi needs to come back to parliament and apologize. Uh, for what? For the statements he's made in UK where he in fact is being alleged of having denigrated Indian institutions and in fact cast aspersions on Indian democracy. Then for Seoul statement of Mr. Modi, for Doha statement of Mr. Modi, for Berlin state of Mr. Modi, whether Mr. Modi will come and apologize before the parliament where he has denigrated India in different forums in this uh, visits in 2015, 2016, 2022 also. For if this is the benchmark Mr. Anurag Thakur wants, first Mr. Modi should come and apologize in the parliament, not Mr. Rahul Gandhi. They are of course saying that you know he keeps doing this. Time and again he will go on foreign soil, be the United Kingdom or elsewhere and in fact casting these dispersions. This is not the first time. Mr. Modi, till 2014, there was an uh, unwritten rule in Indian politics. For 70 years, no opposition leader goes out to criticize Indian uh, political structure. It was the same thing till 2014. All the Prime Ministers, 14 Prime Ministers kept that word. Only Mr. Modi, when he came, arrived in 2014, he changed the rule. He goes to Seoul, he goes to Doha, he goes to Berlin, he goes to uh, Toronto and criticizes, makes India fun. He says, These are all the words he told. He is not, I am telling. These are all on record. But when Mr. Modi can change the rule, when we say something, when our leader questions that democracy that is that attack in India, what is wrong? Why Anurag is behaving like a, he has to behave like a minister. He should not beca only behave like a Sampit Patra. No, but what he's also saying is that Mr. Rahul Gandhi's attendance in parliament is lesser than the national average. He has the floor of the house, but then he'll go ahead and say in UK that microphones are being turned off in parliament. He should be in parliament. Where is he now? Whenever he has asked to, whenever the party puts him to speak, Mr. Rahul Gandhi has spoken in the parliament. Whenever he spoke in parliament, the mics has been off for him. It has happened to us in parliament. Today what is happening? Today, today Adir Ranjan Chaudhary ji and T.R. Balu ji, what they are, why we are uh, walked out yesterday in business, out, business advisory co committee meeting? Because the mic was not given to us. This is the problem is that speaker, speaker only sees uh, uh, Rajnath Singh ji and uh, Prakalat Joshi. There is no Congress, there is no Congress or DMK or opposition parties. They, if you have the guts, give them the mic also. Give to Adir Rajat Choudhury ji, give to T.R. Balu ji, give to Supriya Jusule ji, give to other parties which, which are TRS, uh, TRS uh, Muslim League, all other parties are there, JDU. Sivshena, there are parties that are there. Give them the mic also. Let them also register what they want to say. You will only hear Rajanath Singh ji and uh, Prakalat Joshi means then it is only, it is not a notice board. Parliament, Lok Sabha is a debate forum where you can debate. It is not a notice board. One quick question, sir, before I let you go. Because you mentioned this point, the TMC doesn't attend the floor strategy meeting in the morning. Our BRS hold one protest. Congress holds one protest. TMC holds one protest. Allegedly on the same issue, which is the Adani Hindenburg report, but clearly, it doesn't seem like a united front. That's a good question. We, we are different parties. Sixteen parties sit together in Mr. Kargeji's chamber yesterday and today. We all sat together and decided a strategy. There is TMC, which has an independent party, which ha can have a different view. But our paths may be different, but our destination is same. We, our demand is one, that there should be a JPC on Adani scam. That's the thing. Nothing else. Mr. Rahul Gandhi won't apologize as is being demanded by the center and the BJP. Rahul Gandhi ji, for every eight years, if you go to the eight years record, every year these BJP persons will ask for mafi from Rahul Gandhi. Eight years they had asked it. He has never apologized. He is not sar Sarvarkar to uh, apologize. That is the work of the BJP friends who can apologize. That is the training of uh, Sang to apologize. Mafi is in the name of, it is in the name of Sang only. It is not, never in the Congress history. Congress will never uh, apologize. We will never, we have not done any mistake and we will never apologize. Thank you so much for Thank speaking you. with India today. So that is what Mr. Marikam Tagore has to say, Nabila, that Rahul Gandhi is not Savarkar. He will not apologize.